everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, this is going to be my last installment in my best of 2023 series. So today we're going to talk about my favorite products of the year that I discovered this year in hair and hygiene and just a little bit uh i left out some i forgot to add a couple of products in previous videos so i will when i get to those i will let you all know or maybe i should start with those okay so i'm going to start with that um and if you haven't seen my makeup and skincare, my best of makeup and skincare for 2023, I will link that above. Check it out. I forgot to mention this Ola Hendrickson Transfer Plus Fat Glow Facial. Y'all, I am in love. And I just got this one during the... What was it? It was, I think it was sometime this year or it was the end of, of last year. I can't remember, but I started using it this year. It was one of the Sephora sales because I thought they had discontinued it and it had always been on my list to try. And I was like devastated, you know. And then they brought it back and I saw on Sephora that they have this deeply discounted again. And I almost bought one, even though this one is full. But I, I resisted. I said, no, I'm not going to get it because I do like to rotate my products. They got me one time thinking this was going away. But y'all, this is good. If you love glowy skin, if your skin is looking dull and you just feel like it needs a boost, this is perfection, this mask. Now, it reminds me of the Bliss. It was a bubble oxygen mask. I don't know if they still make that mask now that Bliss is at Target. I don't know if they've changed the formulation. It reminds me of that mask because I use it in the same way, but this is a hundred times better. This is so much better than the Bliss mask in my opinion. Love this. I was like, oh no, I can't believe I forgot to mention this mask. And I had to let y'all know it's good, good. Okay. Another perfume i forgot to mention if you haven't seen my best of fragrances video for 2023 i will link that above check it out so i have i think i'm going to mention these two together yeah i'm going to do that so the perfume is tom ford and then why did it just leave my mind <laughs> soleil nage y'all this is a travel spray I love this perfume, okay? I fell in love with the fragrance by using the Shimmer Body Oil. <sighs> this is clean, white, bougie, sweet, kind of fluffy, airy scent at its best. I love this. I love it. I love it. I just don't want to pay Tom for prices, honey, for a full bottle. When this is empty, though, I don't think I'm going to get another travel spray. That will help me one day get the full bottle. Maybe I'll file it at a cosmetic company outlet store. Maybe I'll get it at a Sephora sale because I can't find this fragrance in on the disc on the in the gray market where you can get different fragrances i can't find this at a good price but this is one of my favorite discoveries of 2023 tom ford soleil neige i also forgot to mention in that video i believe i did my fragrance oil in the perfume video and i forgot to mention these which i absolutely love these are the sensual collection perfume amplifiers by house of sillage i bought all three of these sets this one is my absolute favorite they th this is to me like the equivalent of fragrance oils and i was like i can't believe i forgot this whole collection because i love every single one in this collection they are stunning so i can't i was like i have to mention them because i absolutely love them and i discovered them this year okay so now let's get into hair now that I've told you all the ones I forgot to mention in my previous videos. So with hair, it was for me discovering pro products I love from brands that I've never tried and finding holy grail 
products, okay? It's meant for my natural hair. This is Coily Custard. This has been around for years, but I finally tried it this year because Target had a great sale on, was it, I think all hair products in general, or was it natural hair products? It, I, don't, I can't remember, but I discovered some Holy Grail products and this is one of them. I love the way, oh, this smells for one thing. It lingers in my hair. I love this for my wash and goes. It just, my curls are stretched and shiny and beautiful and body and smell divine. And I mean, these left my curls super shiny. So Miss Jessie's Coily Custard, definitely gonna be a repurchase. I've been saving this because I was waiting to use up all the products I used so I could mention it in videos because I knew this was going to make it in a video because I fell absolutely in love. Now, is it expensive for 8.5 fluid ounces? It is, because I think this one is $16, I think. I think this is the one that's $16, and it's not a whole lot of product, especially if you have thicker hair like me, um, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I am going to repurchase it. I'm out of all of my gels, my gels for my wash and goes. I used up my last one for this wash and go I did. So it's time for me to restock, and there's not a sale in sight, y'all. I'm kind of sad. But this, 2023, love this hair custard gel, whatever you want. Well, it's called a coily custard, but it is, to me, it is a gel. It's, it's just good. It is so good. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm trying to think where I want to put these products. <laughs> okay. Another gel I fell in love with. Heard about it. Never tried it. This is Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. Y'all... Now, this doesn't smell as good. It doesn't do all that, what, but like Miss Jessie. But I'll tell you what Uncle Funky does, okay? This has, okay, in this wash and go, I'm using Camille Rose, whatever that gel is. I can't remember the name of it. It's one I use at the beginning of my transition hair journey, and I still use it today. But I do notice it's it's flakes because the amount I have to use of that gel to get my hair to last the full week like I want it to, I've noticed it, it flakes lately. And I don't, I can't remember if it always did that or if I'm just noticing it more because no flakes at all. No flakes at all. I can, I can use a ton of this. I never see flakes, which I do use a ton. I never see any flakes. It elongates my curls. My curls look pretty. They last. I love this gel. This is Holy Grail. Like Miss Jessie is Holy Grail. This is Holy Grail too. Camille Rose is Holy Grail, but I didn't discover that this year. And it's not, it, it would probably be number five because of the flaking I'm noticing. I don't know if it's something I'm doing. But this Uncle Funky Curly Magic, this is going to be a repurchase. Well, I've repurchased it. I have repurchased this. I think this would be my third or fourth bottle that I'm getting ready to repurchase because I have to restock all my gels. And I just, it's so good. It is so good. Love it. Love it. So glad I discovered it. Another, this is Aunt Jackie. So I discovered all the hair. <laughs> The brands I had heard about that I've never tried, I discovered during that sale from Target. Now, this is a leave-in conditioner I love. This is the Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner from Aunt Jackie. I've tried the other one that I've heard people talk about. I didn't like that one as much. This one, this leave-in conditioner, okay, like the Camille Rose leave-in conditioner, sometimes I feel like it doesn't work with other gels as well as it works with the gel that, you know, is in the same line. I can use this leave-in conditioner, and I have with all the different gels, and it's perfect. No problem. Love it. I also, so this is a Holy Girl leave-in conditioner, okay? I also love the, and I've repurchased this. I think this is my second or third bottle. This is my third bottle, because I'm about to use up my second bottle. This is 
the gel I also love is something no shrinkage gel from Aunt Jackie. That's a holy grail gel for me too. It's affordable. I love it. It doesn't flake. I, it smells. It doesn't. It smells good. It doesn't smell. Nothing smells as good as Miss, as Miss Jessie. That smells the absolute best. But this leave-in conditioner, absolutely love it. Love on Jackie. I'm trying different products so far. The two that are holy grail status for me is this leave-in conditioner and the Don't Shrink Gel or something it's called. Love this product. Okay, another hair product is I discovered, I believe it was this year, the Instant Shine Mask. And my favorite is the Amika Instant Shine Mask. I do notice a difference using these type of masks but this is my favorite it smells so good it lingers in my hair my hair is shiny my hair is softer when i use this i absolutely love it i still haven't used the more affordable version that i think they were trying to dupe of this because i keep forgetting to but i am so i can't wait to see if that is going to make you know my holy grail because i try to get three to five products to rotate that I know will work for me that I absolutely love and this is in there I absolutely love this shine mask I highly recommend it I've talked about it a million times love it the Amika flash instant shine mask okay the last product I have for my hair I believe yes is this tangle teaser so I was using something similar to this just a detangling brush in general. And I think I got that at Walmart. It was very affordable. It was working well for my hair. I was liking it, but then I noticed, okay, my hair is not doing, performing the same using it. So I was researching different detangling products to use for curly hair. And this one is the, it is for curly hair and I'm loving it. So, but I need to find another one because y'all, I don't know. I couldn't believe that I was using the, whatever the one from Walmart. I think it was the Evolve. I still have it. I haven't used it since I purchased this one. And I just noticed it, my, my hair was, it was like my hair got used to that doggone brush. I was like, seriously hair? You can get used to a brush? So I need to find something else if, if my hair starts getting used to this. I love this Tangle Teaser to detangle my hair, to give my, it, to me it works like a Denman brush too, to when I'm doing my wash and goes, I slowly detangle and then I will use it to just really get the curls defined. I love this, I love it. So I recommend a styling brush, but I do recommend this in general, a detangling brush if you're natural and this is a tangle teaser, it's the purple one because, well, lilac, whatever you want to call it, but it is the one that is for curly hair because they have different versions of it. So I, of course, chose this one. Love it. Okay, so how, where do I want to put this? Y'all, I got stuff everywhere. Lord have mercy. Okay, so another thing I forgot to mention in my skincare video, and I almost forgot to, I'm just, you know, this is me, you all. I discovered these clean skin, uh, clean towels that you can get from Amazon. Now this is the package I ordered because I finished up the other one so it's not open. I love these for using with micellar water. I love these to, oh, just, I just love them. They're just good. You know, they say your face towels and everything carry a lot of bacteria. But I only use my face, when I use a, a towel for my face, for, for any, I only use it once. So I don't feel like, oh my goodness, I have bacteria all over my face because I don't continuously use the same towel. I use a towel once, in the hamper it goes. But I just wanted to try these and I do like them for micellar water, for, dip, for that, to use them like that. Um, I don't use them to wash my face or anything but they're just good to have so these are really good this was a, a discovery that i've absolutely loved for 2023 and the way i know i love it is because i already repurchased some y'all okay so what i want to talk about next because these are kind of random 
let's go with the shower. So you all, if you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I, you know, I love body washes and all that. So I have some that are new this year, but from brands I have talked about, raved about, uh, reviewed all of them like Dove, the cherry one. Of course I love it. The new Dove holiday collection they did, I do love those. Olay, I, I can't remember if they came out with a lot this year, but the one I remember which I've used up is the Vanilla Bean from Olay, I absolutely love it. I was almost tempted to repurchase it, but I was like, no, you are not repurchasing until you use up a, a, a very significant amount of body wash. But yeah, there there's some that from brands I've talked about with you all that would have made it to this list, but I wanted to talk about body washes that were new for this year that I had never tried before. And this Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash, I love this. I love it for dry skin, for, it's, to me, the way I've always described this, it's like a body wash and in shower body, in shower oil in one. So I love this. To me, it was worth the money and I'm glad I have, I've tried it and this is one I would repurchase. Okay, um, I think for body washes, not this one in particular, but Tree Hut, I believe they started doing body washes this year. If I'm wrong and it was last year, oh well, because I'm sorry. Stuff starts blending together, y'all. But in general, I do really enjoy the Tree Hut body washes. So I just wanted to have to showcase them in the best of 2023 because I really love the majority of the body washes. The only one I can think of that I was like, oh my goodness, was the entire strawberry line from Tree Hut. But other than that, they, I've, they've been hits for me. So I wanted to mention the Tree Hut body washes in general because to me, they are good, good. Okay, I also discovered the uh, Truly body washes. And I just grabbed one because to me, I don't think you would have to need all three of them. But they are nice, vegan, bougie, treat yourself body washes that I do enjoy. I can see myself repurchasing um, them again, not all at once, but just, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm in the mood to treat myself. I would because I do enjoy them. I love the packaging. I love the aesthetic. I love the way they feel in the shower. So the Truly Body Washes were a hit for me for 2023. Okay, another body wash that I, I can't remember if I have tried a body wash from this brand before. I believe I've tried an oil, maybe, a, I don't even think I've tried a scrub, but I think this is my first body wash from this brand and I fell in love with it. And this is the Hemp's Sugar Banana and Vanilla Blossom Body Wash. Now, this body wash is nothing that, I mean, it wouldn't be a body wash. I would say, I'm only gonna buy Hemp's body washes. But for certain scents, like unique scents like this one, I love it. So for certain fragrances, I would recommend Hemp's Body Washes. Now, just to say, you know, some people, the formulation to me of this does not beat a Dove, does not beat an Olay, especially for the price. They're good. They may make my skin feel good, really smell good, enjoyed it. But I would say this was a best of 2023 for me because I know if there are fragrances that I'm really interested in, I do enjoy the formulation of Hems as a treat yourself type of body wash because it is pricier. But I love it. I love everything about this body wash. I love the packaging. I love the scent. It's fun. I absolutely love this Hemp's body wash. This is my only one so far. I don't feel like it's going to be my last one because I will especially be keeping up with Hemp's for their limited edition collections that they come out with for the different seasons because this is one of them and I am in love with it, okay? All right, the last body wash I'm gonna talk about is one, it's a brand I decided to try. If, 
when I first used it, I was like, okay, whatever. And then I kept using it and fell in love with it. And that is the Being Frenchy Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla Renewing Body Wash. This to me smells like a luxury, kind of elevated, warm vanilla scent. It's a little different for drugstore body washes. I can't think of one that smells like this. Now, I would say it's comparable, not a dupe, not exact, to the Victoria's Secret body wash from Bare, Bare Vanilla Body Wash. That they'll, They will occasionally, it'll pop up on their website sometime. But this is luxurious to me. I do enjoy the packaging. I love the scent of it in the shower. It's just good. And for someone who was so skeptical, especially about this scent, because the first thing I tried from being Frenchy were the body oils. And I was not impressed with this scent in the body oil at all. I mean, at all. So, I decided to, I heard, oh my goodness, I can't remember her name, but I see her face as I'm, I remember her raving about this body wash and I was like, but of course, I was, I just want to try it and I gave it a try and at first I was like, mm, but the more I use it, I fell in love with it. So being Frenchy, cashmere vanilla body wash, absolute love and new discovery for 2023. Okay, so now what I want to talk about, I do have, I think, one body scrub. So we all know I love Tree Hut body scrubs. That would be nothing new. I'm not going to bring a body scrub because of the scent. We all know I love um, Dove body polishes. The cherry one would have made it in here if I felt like it was new for me this year. Um, but... The one that stood out to me, and not this in particular, but the Bodycology scrubs. I had never tried a Bodycology body scrub. I remember when I did my random review Wednesday on them, people were saying, oh, that they've had them before. Well, I had never tried them until this year. And this formulation reminds me of the Tree Hut scrubs, but not as abrasive and more affordable. So for, the, for scrubs that impress me for 2023 i'm gonna have to say it's the body ecology scrubs because they really did okay so anything else in the shower okay so i wait a minute i have another body wash y'all shall i say so this is the house of siage benevolence body wash if you saw my recent random review wednesday i will link it above if you haven't seen it check it out this is expensive. The And I can't remember if I said in that video if I would repurchase it. But the more I've been using it, I do really enjoy the formulation of this body wash. I love the scent. That's what's getting me. I love the benevolence fragrance. I do have the Whispers of Truth body wash, but I don't love it as much as I do love the benevolence body wash. So this fragrance... I would repurchase this body wash for this fragrance because it does linger, which is rare. It does make my, it is a good body wash. Is it overpriced for, to me, the amount you get, the packaging is in? Yes. Would I pay full price for this? Ain't no way ever. But on sale, if I could, if I could catch a good sale like I did to try this out, I would repurchase this body wash. So the House of Siage Benevolence body wash, I would repurchase and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Okay, the other product that's, you know, you use in the shower, let me make sure, you know me. This is the Honey Pot Soothing Wash Feminine Wash. So, I did a whole video reviewing all of the feminine washes that I had tried from the drugstore and a couple high-end ones. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. Check it out. This is one I discovered this year because let me tell you something. I had used the Honey Pot in with the pump. And I never... I liked it, but I never just felt like it was the best feminine wash I'd ever tried. I really did not. But I kept using it until that pump just got on my nerves. And then some people came for me. 
in my review because they were like, don't you know this is a black owned company and you should, and look, I'm going to review products, my thoughts and the way I felt they worked for me. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, I was like, are you for, but this feminine wash from the, uh, the honey pot, I love. This is my second bottle of it. I'm getting ready to be out. I'm getting ready to purchase another one. Now, this is expensive. This is six ounces, and this is, I want to say, $13. <sighs> That's a little steep. I don't have my Monostat Feminine Wash. That would have been in here, too. But I, I now it's time. This is I'm down to my last Feminine Wash. So from that video, I went through all of them. Just like I did my hair products before it's time to restock. So now I have to restock and I will be getting another one of these because I love this feminine wash. It's gentle. It's just soothing. I love it. It is in my top three feminine washes and I just love it. I, I love it. doesn't have that doggone pump. I, I love it's not a foam. I love that I don't have to worry about packaging with this because that just turned me completely off of the honey pot I, I didn't fool with any of their products until i was researching and heard about this one so let me try this one because i don't have to worry about the packaging and i am in love with this feminine wash okay so let's talk about this other product i have one other product from the honey pot that i discovered this year this is the honey pot sensitive spray it's just like a refresher spray. It says you can spray your panties, underarms, feet, and shoes. Well, I use this to spray on my underwear, my pants in that area, um, because it's just added protection to make sure you're smelling good. It doesn't irritate me at all. It's just a great product. And this one is my favorite, the sensitive spray, but I have used more. I'm on my last bottle of this. So far, I can't find this in my local targets. I have to order it online. So I will be getting more of this because I'm almost out. I absolutely love this product. Highly recommend the Honey Pot um, sprays. They're really good. Okay, the next product I'm going to talk about is this Mega Babe Bust Dust Anti Boob Sweat Powder? So I discovered this this year and I absolutely love this and will definitely repurchase once this is all gone. I do not love the sprayer of this because sometimes it's not easy, but the product itself is really good. It keeps me dry. And I waited till before I raved about this to try it in the summer. And this past summer was the most brutal summer I've ever experienced. I can think of a couple summers that I was just miserable and this summer was one of them. I mean, I think that was almost the entire world though. So, you know, I wasn't alone. But this worked. I love this. I will repurchase it. And it's holy grail. I love this powder. Mega Babe Bust Dust Anti-Boob Sweat Powder. Love this powder. Highly recommend it. Okay, what I want to talk about next, y'all. What do I want to talk about next? So, okay, well, this kind of stands alone. Y'all... Um, dry shampoo is not a new product for me, but I don't use dry shampoo for oily hair or any of that because I don't have oily hair. I have dry hair. I use dry shampoo to refresh my hair, especially in the summer because I sweat, to refresh my hair for the scent because I only wash my hair once a week. So... This Bath and Body Works dry shampoo, I just pulled this one, the A Thousand Wishes. These are like the best dry shampoo I've used for what I need it for because I need dry shampoo to make my hair smell really good. And this does that. 
and it doesn't leave a white residue. Like one time I'll never forget I was filming a video and I used dry shampoo and I didn't know I had like a white streak in the back of my head that I missed rubbing it in. I don't have to worry about that. It's no white residue, anything with these dry shampoos from Bath and Body Works. And it lingers in your hair for a couple of days once you use this and your hair smells so good. So I use this, it's, to me it's a hair dry shampoo hair perfume. That's really what it is. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Highly recommend the Bath and Body Works dry shampoos. If you use dry shampoos, especially like me, because I can't tell you if it's a good dry shampoo for oily, extremely oily hair and all that. I honestly can't tell you that. But if you want to use it to refresh just the scent of your scalp, you can't go wrong with them. Can't go wrong. Okay, so I have two of these. So let me talk about, it's just two fragrance smiths that I wanted to mention. I did do a best of 2023 fragrance smiths for Bath and Body Works. I will link that above. I also did it for Victoria's Secret. And if I have space, I will link that above also because I don't know how many times I said I'm gonna link some above this video. <laughs> So these two, this one is Frenchy Cashmere Vanilla that I just spoke about, the body wash. It surprised me how much I enjoy this spray because this is a fragrance mist that is not affordable when I think of drugstore fragrance mist because when I think of fragrance mist I'm going to purchase from the drugstore, I think of Bodycology four dollars i think of body fantasies five to maybe seven dollars depending on the size you're getting and let, but this I, i'm not talking about a body mist that's you know from a perfume that you can get that walmart has just a regular just body mist and this is one it surprised me with it smells luxe it it, 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 it lasted to me a decent amount of time for a fragrance mist and I really I love the packaging of it too I just I really enjoy these products from the Frenchie line for cashmere vanilla I do I'm not love I don't love the lotion and I do not love the body oil but the body wash and the body spray love them love them and glad I got to experience them this year Another body spray I really do enjoy, and not just this one in particular. I mean, they've done two, and I have both of them. This is Tree Hut Moonlight Glow. This is a body spray that's good. It's fragrant. It lasts a decent amount of time. It's under $10. Tree Hut needs to come out with more body sprays because, to me, they do them well. Now, this is 5.2 ounces, but like I said, it's under $10.00. It lasts a good amount of time. It's, it's fragrant. It smells really good. So this was a nice discovery for me. Um, the Tree Hut Body Mist. Because I have both of them. They've only come out with two. They need to come out with more. So I really enjoy that. Well, the Tree Hut Body Sprays. Okay. What I want to talk about next, you all. I think the only... I only have two categories left. So I think I'm going to go with the lotion and the body butters. So Tree Hut body butters are not technically, I can't remember if I bought some in 2022, but I fell in love with these three for this year. And this is one that a lot of people have talked about. This is the Sweet Cream Body Butter from Tree Hut. This smells so good. It's a milky, creamy, frothy body butter that smells good on the skin. It, I just love it. I really do. I was tempted to get another one because it's limited edition, but I'm not. Because I have so much stuff and creams and things are not like body sprays where they can last, you know, a decade almost and I don't have to worry about them. So this is the one I have. It's good, good thoroughly enjoy it another one that at first everybody was hating on but once i used it i fell in love with it and this is the vanilla body butter from tree hut this to me 
it doesn't smell like much when you still smell it from the the jar the tub but when i put it on my skin i love this body butter and to me it's a good dupe for the fenty vanilla dreams body butter it has shimmer on my body it smells so good to me and i was just impressed with it because just smelling it from the tub i was like what in the world this has no scent but been putting it on my body it's like the vanilla comes out the shimmer pops it's not too much and i thoroughly enjoyed this body butter the vanilla body butter from tree hut and all of these are sweet ones from tree hut that i'm loving this is the last one this is the birthday cake body butter from tree hut this is one that smells it's like a fun fetty cake it's fruity sweet cakey frosting it's just fun and again it's one that's easy to wear with a multitude of different fragrances it smells good it lasts a decent amount of time they moisturize well and I, these were my three favorite body butters from tree hut that really impressed me this year and they're all what you would consider sweet gourmand fragrances and they did them well I, i'm really impressed with those body butters from tree hut this year okay um well those are let me do all the body butters so another body butter that i purchased this year this is the loxiton milk concentrate body butter if you love the dove and the name just left me it's the one in the blue jar kind of creamy light scent from dove this is that it's light clean and fluffy and some and it gets just a little sweet to me just a little bit i love this it smells good it feels good it's bougie i love this body cream and no regrets for getting it this year another body cream that i purchased this year is the delina body cream this is good i love the way it smells it's bougie i love the packaging except it cracked on me which i don't love about it but the cream alone this is because usually when i think of perfume body creams you know it's a perfume you get the lotion or something like a gift set i don't feel like they're good this body cream you put it on it smells like the fragrance you're moisturized you your skin has a nice sheen to it it's good so if you love delina this is a good treat yourself body butter i thoroughly enjoy mine Okay, another body butter that I really enjoy is the House of Siage Benevolence Body Butter. This body butter feels good on the body, gives a nice glow. Oh, smells absolutely divine, honey. Oh, I, this body butter is good. But again, just like I said about that body wash, this is only four fluid ounces of product packaging plain for for house of sillage overpriced you could have if parfums de marley can give seven fluid ounces almost eight for a body butter and you and this is this was this is under $100. I want to say 90 something. This is 80 something. I didn't pay that for neither one of them. Uh, but four ounces. So no, this would have to be deeply discounted again for me to purchase, repurchase it. But I do love it. I love it for this scent, this benevolent scent. Now the, the texture, everything is good. But I love this for the fragrance. So this had to make it because I fell in love with this uh, Benevolence Body Care line from House of Siage. Okay, the last body butter I have, this, I finished this up. This is the Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter. Y'all, I'm going to repurchase this. This is the body butter that made me start loving coconut. It was this body butter. So I know once it gets closer to the summer, even though this is a year-round scent, to me, this is a warm, sweet, creamy coconut scent you can wear year-round. 
I know I'm gonna repurchase this because I absolutely love it. And this will go perfectly with coconut milkshake um, fragrance mist. I can already just see me just, just loving the combination. I love this body butter, use it up, will definitely repurchase it. Glad I discovered it. I, I, I think it was this year. I think, I hope I'm not getting it mixed up with 2022, but I think it was this year. But I finished it this year and know I love it for sure. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about these lotions. Now the only lotions I have in here to share with you all are hints. So the one that started it was the Sugar Banana and Vanilla Blossom. Because I just randomly, I was in Ulta. I heard AI the Great talking about this set, especially when her fragrance came out. Oh, oh my goodness. I wish I could. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, I have no shame in my game. Navitas, when your fragrances are so expensive, I don't like to drop $300 plus on a perfume at one time. I like after paying those type of, for certain products, for certain purchases, because I just don't like to drop that much money at one time for perfume. Because, you know, you can smell good for a whole lot less than that. So, Navitas, if you just hear me or if somebody who watches me and has contact with Navitas, can y'all get some afterpay over there? Because that's the only way, unless one day I just really just cave and give in and spend that much money at one time on a perfume. I've never spent that much money at one time on a perfume. Because I don't like to do that. <laughs> but, so, Navitas, hook me up some after pay but back to the hints <laughs> that she ai the great was talking about this i decided to smell it because of course the packaging is adorbs and i fell in love with it but y'all i fell in love with the formulation some people say that the formulation is not good that the scent doesn't last all day i really don't know if i have one product if i use it just on its own it's gonna last all day the scent that's not a perfume or something but this i love the way it smells i love the way it feels i love the packaging so this started it okay and then i got a travel size lotion in this for free with some order from ulta with the sponge sugar and vanilla bean and i fell in love with this and i got this and then this broke the internet this holiday edition vanilla frost mountain and i have one more hemp lotion but these three are the ones i have used i haven't tried my plum one yet and i love hemp so that is another reason why for bath and body works is so many good lotions and body butters creams that I want to try and experience and you just they just don't leave overnight that I just I'm not going to just be buying body bath and body works body creams and Victoria's Secret lotions and everything just to match anymore because you don't have to I love hemp's I will be getting more hemp's because I keep up with it now to see their limited edition collections they came out with a new vanilla one that I will be smelling to see if I want to get it I'm not getting anything right now but it is on my radar. Okay, so those were all the body creams and body lotions I wanted to mention that I fell in love with for 2023. But I really feel like 2023 for Shaughnessy was about body oils because I lost my mind. And the love is not, I, I'm still always looking for different body oils, honey. I'm in, I'm in love and obsessed with body oils. So this is one I've had before in different packaging, but I recently purchased this, I think during the summer semi-annual sale or something from Victoria's Secret, and I've been using it and it is perfection. And it is the cocoa oil from Pink. This smells divine. It feels divine. And I think I purchased two or three of these once I saw they repackaged it because you never know what a repackage if they changed the formulation. So this original I can vouch for that I fell in love with this year. Now I've used the honey, I've used, you know, different oils, but this one is my favorite. And it was the last one I believe I've ever purchased. I've tried the, the other ones, but this is my favorite. And you, I might think of the vanilla, the cocoa vanilla one, 
But to me, it doesn't just uh, feel as good as this one. It's something about this cocoa oil that is perfection. So I'm, I love it. I'm glad I decided to get it this year finally and try it. Because I don't think, I'm trying to remember if you remember when they had those little short bottle, round bottles. I remember the green one, the Cocoa Chill. I don't think, I can't remember if I've ever tried this one, but perfection. Perfection. Okay, this oil right here, I'm trying to see, do I have multiples from anywhere? No, so I can just go, just grab. So this is the Amand Supple Skin Oil from L'Occitane. This is a good oil. I love this oil, but this oil I specifically love with this body cream. So these two have to go in tandem for me. It's something about it. I don't like to use this oil unless I'm using the matching body cream and together they are perfection. But I do recommend this oil because I love a spray oil and it does smell nice. It feels good. It's bougie to me at its best and I love it. So yeah, this is a nice oil I purchased this year. Another one that took me by surprise, this is Osea Oil. Now, at first, I, I was scared to death of this oil, but I was so curious about it. I was so upset that I missed out on getting that set that was at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And then they came out with another set at Ulta, and I was able to get this small one. And this oil feels so good, so luxurious. If you're worried about the scent like I was, it is one for me that is summer, spring type. It's very herbal, spa scent. So it's not one I'm grabbing now, but I will say the scent doesn't just linger on. And that's a good thing because while the scent is not bad, it's not just beautiful. Like I like my, my body oils to be. But the formulation, the way it feels, the way your skin looks, it's it's perfect again osea body oil okay this is a body oil from dawkins aroma this is pink cotton i love these dawkins aroma body oils they smell good they feel good this to me i i think of this more as a perfume oil in a body oil formulation love them i will say I think you need to use them up rather quickly because this one, no, it still smells good. I was like thinking the scent was gone, but I love it. I love these. So if you like fragrance oils and you like perfumey body oils, the Dawkins Aroma body oils are good. Another one that took me by surprise, and this is a company, before I move on, that I discovered this year and I am obsessed with it, love it, and I know I will repurchase more from this company. Absolutely love Dawkins Aroma. Now, this next body oil is Ariana Grande's God is a Woman body oil. As you can see, I have used quite a bit of this. This oil is perfumey, fresh, fruity. It layers well with a lot of spring, summer type fragrances. It's, this is a potent, perfumey body oil, and that's why I love it. Um, is it the best body oil for the feel of your skin? I would, I would say probably not. It still is a good feeling body oil. Your skin does look good and everything. But when I think of this body oil, I don't tend to think, oh, my skin is so wonderful for my skin. I like to use this because it is so potent and loud and projecting and smells so good and layers with so many of my spring summer fragrances. So this is one, even though I do not love the name of this fragrance, I don't love the packaging. I feel like, I mean, this body oil, I feel like once I finish this, I would repurchase this because it is a good perfumey body oil. It's, it's just good. Okay, another body oil that I fell in love with this year. This is the Pink Beach Salt Air Body Oil. You can see pretty good dent. So this is an affordable body oil. It's $20. It's beachy. This is one I love to use during the summer. It just kind of went with everything. 
And that's what I loved about it. It went with everything. It felt good. I like using it. I like the packaging. I liked it. It was $20. Now, what I don't like about this oil is that it's not sold in Target. The some of the hair care is sold in my local Target. Some of the body wash, the body washes are. I think some of the lotions are making their way to it, but not the doggone body oil. I don't understand. Now they're coming out with new body oil slowly. I have two, and I do plan to get more closer to the summer after I see you know what body oils I've used up. But this is one for an affordable body oil. Look at the packaging, the pump. You, you can't go wrong. I love these salt air body oils. Absolutely love them. Another body oil that I feel absolutely in love with, and it's not a big dent because I'm using up another oil that smells similar to this because I'm saving this one. This is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body for Misa Oil. This oil smells better than the Boom Boom Cream. It smells better than the Boom Boom body mist it smells better than the well i mean it smells better than the charosa 62 body mist it smells better than the charosa 62 doggone perfume i don't know what they changed in this body oil to make it smell so 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 good but they did the doggone thing this body oil is 10 out of 10 smells good feels good i love the packaging everything about it don't love the price but it smells really good i'm gonna need like i was mentioning in some video i'm kind of batch filming you all i was oh it was i was using my chanel coco mademoiselle body oil in my i was sharing my uh scent combination for the day and I'm going to need, like I said, I need Chanel to come out with more body oils and more fragrances. I'm going to need Sol de Janeiro to come out with uh, more body oils, okay? Sol de Janeiro, that's what we need to see in 2024 from Sol de Janeiro. We need to see more body oils because you did the thing. You did, this is good. Good, 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 good. Okay, another body oil and another company. Well, you know, I'm going to do this one first. This is the Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fruit Body Oil. Now, I purchased this one, the water one. I do want to get the myth one also. These are good body oils. They're very expensive and pricey. I got this because I wanted a summer, juicy, fruity um, body oil, and this is it. I love the packaging. They're good body oils. And like I said, the, the year of 2023, when I think of hygiene and body care and the products that stood out for me the most i was into body oils i mean i could have put more in here <laughs> i love me some body oils and this is another company that i just uh recently was finally able to get one of their highly talked about body oils and my favorite is the skin potion kama sutra body oil you talk about potent. You talk about smelling good, 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 good. Oh, honey. Mm, mm, mm. Notice I didn't put the Parfums de Marley Delina body oil because I purchased that this year. This beat that. Totally. They're about the same price. And I think this is maybe $2 cheaper. This beats Delina, the, the Parfums de Marley body oil a thousand times over. And I was watching AI the Great, and she mentioned the Venus body oil, and I'm like, oh. <sighs> Add it to the list, because I she was like, it's even better than this, that it goes with so much more. And so I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna have to try that one too. So the last product we're going to talk about is, again, a body oil. And it's not this body oil in particular. This is just the Brown Sugar Babe body oils. You all, I have fallen in love and am obsessed with the Brown Sugar Babe body oils. I did a whole video reviewing when I purchased the one ounce bottles of a bunch of different fragrances. And I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. This, I have three full size. Well, this is the four ounce. They come in 
one ounce, that's the most affordable, four ounce bottles and then eight ounce bottles. I've not purchased an eight ounce bottle yet. Now, I purchased this hot chocolate because I wanted a chocolatey body oil that wasn't the Palmer's. I love that cocoa body oil, but I don't love it for after the shower and layering because to me it doesn't sink in easily. So I wanted a chocolate body oil and I wanted to give this a try. I love this. I just love their oils, you all. I've gone through two or three of my one ounce bottles and I'm, I wanted to, my plan was to go through all the one ounce bottles and then, you know, see which ones I wanted full sizes of. But they had, I think I got this on sale. So I got the four ounce bottle because this had been sold out when I wanted to try it. So I went ahead and just got this size because in the season, and I know I would be using it. And then I got the princess uh, the perfume oil, body oil that's supposed to smell like the princess perfume because I love that perfume. And then I got caked up because in the full four ounce size because it had been sold out. So I'm going to get the eight ounce bottles of some, but I'm not letting myself get any more. Unless Tribeca comes back in stock because I really want to try it. But until I use up my one ounce bottle so I can really see which ones I love and then, you know, purchase them and then don't have to worry about, you know, getting a whole lot more. I like doing one orders and having a bunch and being done. So, but brown sugar babe oils, they are expensive. They're not what they're not affordable body oils. If you get the one ounce, some one ounce body oils are $20 when this salt air body oil for four fluid ounces is $20. And this glass packaging, I like the packaging on Brown Sugar Bay, but you can't compare. To me, this packaging seems more expensive, more luxe. These get expensive, like one for eight ounce may be 60 plus dollars. It depends on the fragrance also, the scent you're choosing. But I'm in love with them, you all. They're worth it to me for certain fragrances. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going through my one ounce bottle, seeing which ones I absolutely love. And then I will invest and get a, 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 my order and be good because that's how I am. So, but I love them. I love them, love them, love them. This was uh, one on my list of discoveries for 2023 that I wanted to try the company. I did and I fell in love. Still haven't tried a perfume oil, but I'm hooked on the body oils because to me, the body oils, they do moisturize well. They do layer with my fragrance as well. They do leave my skin. Like I'm wearing, I use one today. They leave my skin soft, feeling good, smelling good. I just really love them now the five companies i'm just going to include this in this video the five companies i wanted to try this year it was skin potion brown sugar babe ancient cosmetics sugar milk and co and i feel like i'm missing one it's always one I'm missing. Because it was five, right? But out of those, Sugar Milk and Co., I enjoy their products, but I've come to realize with them, they would, I'm not just obsessed with the products like I thought I would be. And that's because they're, they're straight up gourmand for the most part, and I'm so picky with gourmand fragrances. The Sugar Milk & Co., I think I've done two orders with them, and I will eventually, but I'm let, I'm not, I don't plan to order from them until I use up everything I've, I've had, I have from them, and then I'll try something new, because I'm just not obsessed with smelling like food all the doggone time, and all their stuff is very gourmand, I can't think of anything that's not gourmand off the top of my head. It's just strictly gourmand. So it wouldn't just be my favorite. Asia Cosmetics had a line I loved, but they wouldn't be in my favorites either. As you can see, Sugar Milk Co. didn't make it to my favorites 
and Ancient Cosmetics didn't. Even though they both had products I enjoy, I, I, I'm not, I, I don't know. Dawkins Aroma, that was the fifth one. So let me do it again, because I'm gonna rank them. It was Ancient Cosmetics, Sugar Milk Co., Dawkins Aroma, Skin Potion, and Brown Sugar Bay. Those were the five I wanted to try this year um, that had been on my list. Now for next year, it's something glazed body butter that has taken over social media, taken by storm. I do want to try that, but I'm not getting ready to rush and try it right now because I, I want to use up some stuff. But that is like, that's the only, well, no. Then it's Dirty Soul Soap. That's another one for 2024 I want to try. So it's only two so far that I can think of for 2024 that I want to try that's totally new to me. Now back to this year and ranking the companies. So coming in at number five is going to be Ancient Cosmetics because I fell in love with, I think, Sugar Rush. Out of all the products I tried, that was the only one I would repurchase. That was it. That was the only one. Now I'm not saying I, I won't try more from them at some point, but Sugar Rush was it. That was it from all the products that I did purchase from my order that I would try, that I would repurchase again. Coming in at number four would be Sugar Milk Co and Comp. Is it Sugar Milk and Company? Sugar Milk Co. That would be number four because it's so gourmand heavy. It, it is just super duper gourmand heavy. And gourmands, while I like them, I'm not obsessed with them. Coming in at number three would be Skin Potion because I purchased two of the oils. I wanted to get the cookie butter. It was sold out. I So out of the two I purchased, this is the one I'm obsessed with. The cookie butter body oil, I'm still not sure about because it is. it feels like it may be a little bit too much for me. So that's why it comes in at number three. Now coming in at number two, the Dawkins Aroma and Brown Sugar Babe, to me, it can be tied for one. But if I'm going to, I'm going to say Brown Sugar Babe is number two. The only reason is I've only tried the body oil. And they have perfume oil. I think they have scrubs. So I've only tried one product from them, but I'm obsessed with that one product and plan to get full sizes of more once I use up all of my one ounce bottles. I know some I'm going to get, and it's going to cost me a pretty penny, but I'm obsessed with body oils. It's a daily, I use them daily for me and I love them. So this could be number one, but the only reason it's going to be number two, and I'm trying not to cheat and tie them, is because I've only tried the body oils, which I'm obsessed with. Coming in at number one is going to be Dawkins Aroma because I've tried the body oils and the perfumes. Now, I've not tried the home fragrance. I haven't tried some kind of deodorant they have because I'm not interested in that. I think it's a natural deodorant. I've given up on natural deodorants for me. I, they just don't work for me. And so... What I would try from them would be the body oils and the perfumes, and I've loved both of them. I love the perfumes I've tried. I love the body oils I've tried. So Dawkins Aroma is number one. So y'all, those are my 20, best of 2023 hair products and hygiene products. And um, it was a good year for beauty and different products in, in my collection. So... I have a lot of products, you all, and for 2024, I am going to be very strict with what I allow myself to bring in to my collection because I have too much. I have too much, and it's too much that I like. It's not too much that, oh, I just want to get rid of it because I don't like it. No, it's things I want to use and that I enjoy. So... I am. I'm going to be very particular. I don't know what that means for reviews and things. I'm just going to have to find the balance. I mentioned that in another video, but it is going to be different because if you could tell, if you haven't seen my Bath and Body Works in my annual sale haul, like I said, I don't know if I have any more cards. I don't think I do. Check it out because 
that that is a foreshadowing of how I will be trying to behave for 2024 so I can use up my products and enjoy them. I use up a good amount, but I for the amount I have, I got to do better. If you want to see a foresh Victoria's Secret for that semi evil sale, check out what I you know what I purchased because that is how I want to be stricter with myself for 2024 because you get all this stuff it can go bad or you want to give it away or you want to sell it i want to use my stuff that i purchased my hard-earned money on and enjoy it and i am that is going to be my goal i still want to keep my channel going i still plan to review because that to me is what i'm good at i'm good at reviewing products for you all and i a lot of people tell me they love my reviews I'm going to keep it going, but I'm going to find a way to make it beneficial for me and what goals I have in my life also. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on finding the balance, but I'm sure I will. So if you all enjoyed my last best of 2023 video, we're saying farewell to 2023. And hopefully we're bringing in a better year with better times, you know, because life has been lifing for me and that's all i'm gonna say so if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and tell me your favorite um hygiene hair products products that stood out to you for this year please share because we're always looking you know we're always looking to see you know new products to try and that's never going to change so please leave your favorite products from this year down in the comment section please share this video with everyone you all because hopefully we make it to 12k before 2024 that's the goal you all so let's hope we made it okay and please don't forget to turn on your notification bells so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as I always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye